Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In this video, we will try to learn another uh, custom directive, structural directive, somewhat a little bit deeper into the custom structural directive. Let's try to learn it. So for this one, what I will try to do it is I will create an another uh, something like ng uh, generate directive show if. So that's the thing. So show if. So just say, just seem like the ng if I will try to create a directive show if. Let's try to understand about the show if directive. So now we have created the directive. Let's try to implement this directive. So show if means nothing but what I want to tell you is so if it is the condition is true means then we need to show it. So let's go to the show if directive. I am opening this show if directive. As I already told you in our previous video, if you try to see, so we need to import the private template ref of type template. ref of type any so i will try to tell you about this any also so just try to yeah, be with me so view container of type view container ref so this is the two things which we need to import and we will be getting an input variable that is nothing but input app show if so this is the variable which you will be trying to get it and that is of type boolean so let's say that that is of type boolean and now this input should be imported from the angular core fine so now ng on in it so on ng on in it what i want to do so let's say that if this dot app show if if not of if not of this dot app show if is there means then that means if it is false means then what i need to do sorry if this uh, if it is true means so, so what I need to do, I need to create the embedded view. So this dot view container dot create embedded view of and I need to pass the template of this dot template of that's it. Sorry, this dot template ref. I will pass this template ref fine. And if it is not there means then what I need to do this dot view container is equal to false. So fine. So this one is false. So this is the simple directive. Sorry, view container dot clear. I need to do dot, dot clear that's it so now this is our directive and let's try to import this show if directive and here show if directive and let's say that here I will be having a variable something like is visible is equal to false let's say that or otherwise I will try to make it as a true so that means if it is is visible is true means then I need to show it or otherwise I need to make it false so let's go to the app component ts file so here I will write. so here I will write this is conditionally displayed so this is just a variable which i will be trying to show this is condition and now here i need to conditional display it so that means star app dot app dot show if and here i will try to send the is visible that's it so now if it is true means then it will try to do it now here i will be having a button in a such way that toggle so i will be toggling this one and here upon clicking on this toggle and here what I will try to do is visible is equal to not of is visible. So that means I am trying to make it as a toggling thing. If I try to click on this toggle. So if you try to observe carefully, the toggling is not working. Why it is not working is so if you try to see here, this is the the condition has been written in the ng on it. This ng on it will work only when the component has been the, when the directive has been installed or, or it has been rendered. So that means it will be executed only once. So whenever the input is changing, so you need to execute all the time. So then what you can do it here instead of using this one, then you need to implement the ng on changes. Now let's try to implement the toggle for this one. So now it is taking some time to, yeah, here it is coming. Now if I try to toggle it, so now the toggling is working. So you can write in any, so any varieties also. For example, if you don't want to implement this ng on changes means you can copy this entire code and you can remove this ng on changes and here you can write setter and getter so app show if and you will be getting the condition for this one of type boolean okay and here you can write the entire code so here you will be having the condition instead of using this app show if so this this is also the supported one only so this is also correct now if you try to see this example now it is working fine right so now let's try to refresh this page so now if I try to click on the toggle, then also it will be working. So that means in either way, you can use the setter property to implement this one or otherwise you can use the 
NGON changes uh, NGON changes life cycle hook also to implement this one. So the another one which I want to tell you is the uh, before closing this one repeat times. So just like the dynamic list which we are having, I will try to use the repeat times. So repeat times by doing this one I will close this uh, structural directive. So repeat times. So let's try to implement this repeat times. So now we have created this. Uh, oh sorry, I have created the. Uh, what I want to do the directive so let's try to create the directive. I have created a component actually let's try to delete that component where is that tag yeah here entirely I will delete this component necessary right so now let's try to uh, so the directive has been created so let's go to the app uh, repeat directive okay repeat in the same scenario so now here you will be importing the private <clears throat> private template ref of template ref of any okay and you will be having private view container view container of type view container ref that's it these two are the things so now if you want to set it means then what you can do it you can use the input directive so we can use the ng on changes also input set and this input should be imported from the angular core and set app repeat times so this is the only the variable right which hope you will be having yeah so this is the only variable which you will be having and here you will be having the times the number so you will be getting how many times it needs to be repeated and here you can uh, first you can make this view container or otherwise what i can do is i will loop over each one for let i is equal to 0 i less than times dot times okay dot length is not needed and i plus plus so these many times i need to repeat it i is equal to 0 and here in this one this dot view container dot create embed view of this dot template ref okay and i need to send the context also why because index so index column i so for i am i am keeping the index property i am sending the i variable that's it so now let's try to go here into our app component.ts file and here i will have a count is equal to 3 okay and let's go into the app component.ts file so here i will implement the repeating thing that is nothing but uh, what i can do it is so here do i will repeat this one app repeat okay i need to import this app repeat times so here I can use the repeat times directive and in this app component.html so here I need to use the app repeat times so that one right app sorry star app repeat times is equal to so I need to send the count for this one and we will get the index right i is equal to index so I have I am sending the context also there so now here I can use a paragraph repeat sorry repeat count and here i can pass the i variable that's it now at the bottom i can have a variable input type is equal to text i can have this one or otherwise i put input type is equal to number and i will try to use the ng model and i will pass the count for this that's it so don't think about this one so i will try to explain you in when we are trying to learn about the forms concept so we need to inject the forms module that's it app component.html is also done now here the three is there so if i try to change it to four so we are getting the repetitions we are getting right instead of to go it repetitions for every time this one is executing i need to clear the view container dot clear i can do it this one so now I need to remove this this thing yeah so now if you try to check this for if I try to do it see we are able to get the so if I will try to do it for I can do it and now if I try to oh sorry if I try to change it to 5 means then I can get the 5 so 10 if I try to do it, 10 we are able to get in this way we can dynamically respond the custom structural data we can dynamically respond to the data by using this input set, input setter property or otherwise ng on changes also we can do it so this is what about the custom structural directives how to create it hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video 
And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.